But first, I, I have a little presentation I want to make. We've been doing this confluence all weekend and had some really profound encounters. And I want to honor one person that really made all of this stuff possible and makes each one of us come alive in a new way. So, Tony, could you step forward? You can just, you don't have to step up, but just turn around so we can see your beautiful face. <laughs> half of her beautiful face. <laughs> this is a sculpture I created for this confluence called, called uh, The Water Bearer. And we want to present this to you. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to take it home on the plane. Oh, it's so wonderful. I love the piece, and I love the piece. And it's says so much about what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And it's only happening right now because we're doing what we're doing. for the last 45 years, but at the beginning of that time, uh, he founded the Young Society of Washington, and he's the last man standing from that. <laughs> and Bob has written a, a wonderful book about modern alchemy called Ars Nova, uh, and you can find it at Tim Holmes' studio. And, uh, uh, these statuettes are quite heavy, so um, we decided that because we're working with the imagination, we would make the other one presented in an imaginal way, and we will ship it to Baha. <laughs> and so here is your imaginal word. <laughs> You know, it's, it's been a wonderful journey. <clears throat> when I wrote Ars Nova, I just put it out there, and I had no idea what was to come. And I have, I have enjoyed the great good fortune of connecting with Skip, and Tim, and John, and Sherry, and Colleen, of course. You know, <clears throat> we're working together. We're little people. We're doing what we can in this world of turmoil and strife in the gray zone. And so it's been a great honor for me to participate with these wonderful people. And to that end, I would like to do two things. One, I would like to respond to Skip, whose vision it was initially to convene the confluence. And it was also his vision to select this incredible play to present to you tonight. So to that end, I want to reciprocate and give back to <laughs> my imaginary. <laughs> I was there when we first considered this play in Aptos in Colleen's beautiful home on the Pacific. And I was there when the three of them stumbled <laughs> over this play and I had my doubts. But I have to say tonight, 
that they have performed admirably. And so, I want to do one more thing. I, I want to take another imaginary water bearer and I want to present it to the couple together, John and Sherry, for a tremendous performance. <laughs> and what an honor it is to present this to you all. And please join us across the street. And we'll talk and enjoy. Well, it's just right across the street, Vanilla Bean will have wine and conversation and probably some laughter. Good afternoon. I'm very pleased to report that on Sunday, July 24th, 2022, the fifth Water Bearer Award was made to Mr. Louis LaFontaine of Plattsburgh, New York. President of the ceremony was Dr. Robert Manis, who commissioned the water bearer. And I was able to join them by FaceTime. Mr. LaFontaine is well known to Jungians throughout the world because he curates the Carl Jung Depth Psychology page on Facebook in addition to maintaining a blog and many other social network activities. When I joined his Facebook page in 2005, he had 4,000 followers. Today, he tells me he has about 95,000 followers. And so I can't think of anyone more deserving of the Water Bearer Award for his efforts in keeping Dr. Young's legacy alive. Thank you very much, Lewis. Congratulations. <laughs>